came in the uh, up in my land and I'm going out for black ash today. It's snowing up here. It is like April 1st or March 30th or something. It's pretty late in the season. However, there's still enough uh, snow in the woods that I've got about two feet of snow here, still in northern Wisconsin, and enough to drive my snowmobile. And so there's some beautiful black ash back in the swamp that I can only get in the wintertime. And now in the springtime, it's just about going to be done here within a week. And so uh, now it's time to go see if we can get some black ash. So I'm on my snowmobile. Let's take a ride. Let's, let's take a ride. All right. So there's my tree. I got to get first. This one is a black ash and it's kind of hanging over my trail. So I'm going to take a go take a look at it here. However, there's a few problems with it. Um, as you can see, there's branch, it's been sitting this way for a while, so the branches are growing straight up into the sky. And whatever is branches, I can't really use that part of the property, but it's of the, of the log, but I can sure use it for firewood. But let's go take a look down at the bottom of it here. And as you can see, it's got at least a section of it that is in good shape other than that it goes up and then you can see that the uh, branches are growing out of it up there yeah so that's a little bit of a problem So I've got the uh, first cut, trees down. There's only about, oh, about six feet, seven feet of good in there because of all the branches sticking up. Again, this one's gonna be firewood, but I am gonna take a couple shorter pieces and try my uh, froing of a black ash so I can get the, um, get the splints out of it. So that's where we're going today. It's a beautiful day out here. It's about 30 degrees and snowing out. And you can see, even though it's March 30th up here, we're still in Winterland. Okay, so now I'm just going to block up this wood and put it off for firewood. And then I'm going to take a couple pieces of black ash back to the um, camp and then see if we can come up with an idea how to make this work. So we blocked off the excess from the black ash. You can see why they call it black ash. It's very dark and it's got a, a certain smell to it that's just absolutely intoxicating. It's really kind of a neat smell. And uh, it's springtime, so they're kind of real good and wet is what we want anyway. So there you go, that's that. And let's take it back to the cabin and see if we can split up a, a couple pieces. We're gonna use this fro and uh, try to make this work. And so you can see what it looks like. It's got a blade, it's really sharp. And then we're gonna split this log and then we're gonna make some, uh, uh, cut it in quarters is what we're gonna shoot for. So, hearing protection right, and kind of going forward. All right. Okay. You can see it's working, and it's cutting it in half. It down. And then what we get is something like that. You can see it's uh, 
all the dark colors and stuff in here and then you can see the life rings now this is quite skinny rings in it so it had a hard life we'll go from there we're gonna split her up another time Okay, so now what we want to do is cut out the center, like that, where I want it. <laughs> And you can see where it's kind of coming apart a little bit and splitting. Uh, where I'm at now is I've got, and again this is just experiment stuff, but we've got a short piece. And what I've done is I've split it and then I've taken off the bark. And then as you can see, you can see the life rings on it. And uh, we're going to pound it and see if we can start separating these life rings out. So that's what we're going to do. So again, as I like to do is make sure I have hearing protection on for all this pounding. So here we go. So it's kind of one of those things that you just kinda of, you have to just kind of set yourself up a system. You gotta just chill out and saw. Now this is just a one foot piece. We usually would be cutting an eight footer. And chopping this all up so it takes a little bit of time find volunteers so now this hammer is a five pounder and it works quite well it is uh, a short stubby handle I got a little longer handle one too but now I'm going to switch over to my wood one which I think does less damage it has a lot of weight to it but it's a little bit more spread out and I think it works uh, a little safer, easier to handle. So I'll give that a try. Okay, so this is my oak hammer. And uh, made out of one piece. Just take a piece of oak, cut it, and cut it down, whatever. And we'll give it a chop. So we'll just keep on pounding, see if we get somewhere. So we're sitting here now and I did a little more pounding on it. Again, we're just working with a small piece. But as you can see, it's starting to split apart right on the life rings. And a little more pounding and I think I can get them and get some nice pieces out of there. So we're going to go back at it and pound a little bit more.